okay uh, we were discussing that uh, uh, in internet its structure is uh, like uh, in internet has uh, two parts uh, the first part is uh which is, which is called network edge the first part is called network edge network edge means the end system that are attached to the internet to the first router of internet that that part is called network edge or it is called access network and there are we discuss different types of access network technologies okay like dsl cable network Wi-Fi etc. Now we also know that the nodes, the end system, the routers, they are connected with each other through links, which is called physical media. So the physical media now we are discussing that the physical media it is broadly uh, can be uh, classified into two categories. One is called wired and another is called wireless less wireless communication links so now we are going to discuss the physical media in detail physical media in detail okay so as we know that the media or the link that is used to send the data so a link it sends the data so it connects two devices whether it is a host a router or two routers or uh, two host etc so the host send sending function it takes the application message it break up the it breaks the message into smaller chunks and each chunk is called packet and each packet has a length for example l bits okay so the data is transmitted or the packet is transmitted at the rate r r means the capacity of the link r means capacity of the link okay so each link has a capacity and that is called capacity is called bandwidth that how much data can be transmitted at a second in one second on the link and different physical links they have different uh, data rate okay so the how much time it takes to transmit the packets it depends on the it depends so each uh, link it has a capacity okay each link it has a capacity and that capacity is called bandwidth for example this link it has a capacity r r means that it can transmit or it can uh, deliver r bits per second okay so the link bandwidth it can be considered as the volume of a pipe that how much uh, for example if a pipe is for example 2 cm it means that how much uh, no water it can carry at a time okay so when the packet is transmitted for example a packet is l bit and the length of uh, 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 the packet length is l bit okay and the link bandwidth is r bit so how much time it will take it, it is called packet transmission delay that how much time it takes to move the data from this node to the link from this node to the link so this this is called transmission delay and this transmission delay it depends upon the link bandwidth the link bandwidth the more a link has more bandwidth it its transmission delay will be less okay so the packet transmission delay it means what is what is it it is the time needed to transmit l bits packet into link that is to transmit the bits to move the bits from the link from the node over the link and that depends the capacity of the link that how much uh, how many bits at a time the link can accommodate 
okay so the transmission delay it can be computed by uh, dividing l by r dividing l by r l means the size of the packet in bits and r means the capacity of the link the bandwidth of the link okay so different links they have different capacities they have different bandwidths okay so let's discuss the links the physical media as we know the links they propagate they basically move or propagate the bits from transmitter to receiver for example here you can see that the link or the physical media it moves that the bits from this host to the router to the router so it delivers the bits or the signal from this host to this router so a link moves the data from one end of the link to another end of the link okay so basically the bits propagates between the transmitter and receiver pairs so the physical link what lies between transmitter and receiver that is the physical link okay so here you can see that here is the transmitter this node is transmitting the bits and this node is receiving the bits so the, the link is moving are uh, delivering the bits from transmitter to the receiver okay the media can be divided or the physical link physical media or the physical links uh, they can be divided into two types guided media and unguided media guided media is also called wired media okay so in the guided media the signal propagate in solid media for example it moves through a copper wire or a fiber optics or coaxial cable in unguided media it is called wireless link wireless link means the signal propagates freely in for example radio like the wireless in the wireless when the signal is transmitted so it moves in all direction and it depends upon the transmission antenna uh, antenna okay so in unguided media when the signal is transmitted so it moves through air okay so this is the wireless medium and this wireless uh, link and this is uh, the wired link okay so one type of guided media is twisted pair cable this is the figure of twisted pair cable you may have seen it you have you may have noticed it in your computer lab that is also most commonly used twisted pair cable okay so there are two types of twisted pair cable that you have discussed one is called shielded twisted pair cable and one is called unshielded twisted pair cable okay so <coughs> two insulated copper it has insulated copper wires okay and uh, it they have different categories for example this is the category 5 so it can support up to 100 mbps that is its bandwidth is up to 100 mbps 100 mbps per second can be transmitted at a time and 1 gbps means that 1 gigabit per second can also be transmitted so it shows the bandwidth or the capacity of the category 5 twisted pair cable it is used mostly by ethernet okay <coughs> category 6 it can sub category 6 of the twisted pair cable it can support up to 10 gigahertz bits per second so it is bandwidth okay so <coughs> this is the figure of twisted pair cable and you should note it that for each physical media there are different connectors this is called connectors the connector is used to connect this link to a laptop a desktop or a router okay so this is the ethernet uh, connector okay so for copper wire so for fiber optics we have different types of connectors for coaxial cable we have different types of connectors and for wireless we have different types of connectors okay <coughs> so <coughs> now the physical media coaxial cable and fiber optics 
the exit cables they are two co co-centric copper wires this is the figure of coaxial cable what is it is bi-directional the data can be sent uh, both uh, both ways so it is full duplex it is broadband and multiple channel can be used on the cable for example we have discussed hybrid, uh, hybrid fiber uh, coaxial cable in the cable uh, access network so it is used in their categories so it is shared medium so you can have uh, in the shared medium it means that it can be shared by more than one users the twisted pair cable it is not shared okay what does it mean that with the twisted pair cable you can attach only two nodes okay but in the coaxial cable you can attach more than two nodes to a cable okay so uh, it is used in the cable uh, medium uh, cable uh, access network that we have already discussed so let me show it uh, the cable access network uh, that we had discussed okay this is the cable access area network okay so it used the excel cable to connect different homes okay so we have already discussed it okay so this is the figure of coaxial cable okay this is the MN fiber optics it is it use glass fiber and it carries light pulses they carry electromagnetic waves waves but here it is moved in the form of light okay so its speed is very high each pulse is a bit okay this is the uh, shows the uh, fiber optics uh, cable okay fiber optics it is very high speed operation it, it operates at very high speed it can support the data rate from 10 gigabits per second to 100 gigabit per second and one thing more it has low error rates low okay we will discuss it then in the chapter number six also but in the chapter number one later on we will also discuss error rate error rate what does it mean that when a bit is transmitted over the link the bit can be changed okay for example one can become zero or zero can become one this is called bit error okay so the coaxial cable they have high bit error the fiber uh, the twisted pair cable it also have higher bit error but the uh, fiber optics it has very very low bit error rate okay so repeater space far apart for example there are different fiber optics okay so uh, so we have to provide the space between two fiber optical cables and it is immune to electromagnetic noise why because it is often shielded it is often shielded so uh, it is not uh, being interfered by the noise okay the coaxial cable is also shielded so it also has uh, immune to electromagnetic noise or crosstalk okay <coughs> okay now we are going to discuss so up to now we have discussed the guided the guided physical media the guided physical media that is wired media so in the wired media we had twisted pair cable we had discussed coaxial cable and we have discussed fiber optic cable okay now we are going to discuss unguided physical media which is also called radios which is also called radios okay so <coughs> what does it mean the signal is carried in electromagnetic spectrum okay and air is used as a medium air a i r air is used as a medium there is no physical wire okay and it can also be bi-directional the user can send data and it can also receive the data at same time and the signal it propagates through uh, air so when it the signal moves through air a i r air so the signal can experience or can have different phenomena 
and this phenomenon is called reflection so you have studied in the physics reflection when a signal collide with us with a hard space so it bounces back this is called reflection and it is called maybe some signal some wireless signal they can pass through a uh, wall through uh, through building okay through different uh, objects but some wireless signal they cannot pass through uh, objects for example through walls through glasses okay so they depends upon the frequency of the wireless signal okay and it also can has interference because the signal is moving through air so for example in air in uh, air in our uh, um, uh, vacant for example the u phone the varit zoom ptcl pakistan television the radios fm radios pakistan radio fm radios all these uh, networks they are using wireless the ear is a medium so they may have interference with each other okay so you have so this interference they may have okay so therefore what does it mean it means that the quality the error rate in the radio in the wireless is more as compared to wired medium okay as compared to twisted pair cable as compared to coaxial cable as compared to fiber optics the error rate in the wireless medium is very very high that's why the quality of wireless medium is low wireless medium quality is low but it is used preferably why because it has mobility you can you can be connected to the internet while you are moving but in wired you have to be at fixed location okay so this this is the general description of wireless medium wireless link the wireless link or the radio link it can be of different types for example it can be lan wifi technology it can support up to 54 mbps there is trial microwaves wide area network like mobile phone cellular network that you are using it can be satellite communication so let us now discuss different types of wireless links that are used in practice okay this is the short range wireless links okay it is used within 1 or 2 meter for example you have wireless uh mouse you have a wireless pad you have a wireless uh, headphone etc so they are used for uh, for a distance up to 1 to 2 meters okay so another example is wifi wifi networks are it is called also called wireless lan it can support data rate up to 54 mbps it can be used in a building it can penetrate it can pass through walls okay for example it can pass so this is the wireless router and it is a, a laptop mobile phone different laptops they are connected through to this wireless router and it is a wireless lan okay so the wireless lan wifi it can have a uh, distance up to it can be used in a building so it can have a distance more than a uh, few uh, meters okay and the signal can penetrate through walls okay so another type of wireless network that is commonly used today it is called wired area network or so called cellular network the mobile network that we are using so in the cellular network it can support the data rate up to 10 mbps per second okay and it can be used up to some kilometer distance okay for example in this cellular network uh for example u phone or ware u phone they have deployed base station in different areas 
for example this base station in the Texla this base station is the Wakhan this this base station is the Hassan Abdal this base station is at the for example new city etc okay in each base station it covers a certain area okay so in the mobile phone they cannot talk to each other directly but they have to talk through base station okay so uh, this cellular network it is it can support larger distance but one, sh one should note that they are using license bandwidth license band that they, they have to operate so the first have to get license and license should be get from the government so they have to pay the license is not free it is to be paid but the wireless this wireless lane it is unlicensed so you can use it freely you don't need permission from the government you don't have to pay for this anyone can use it this channel okay similarly the uh, this short range it is also free of cost okay you can use it okay so this is the license version so it is most costly so therefore they have to so you if you want to use this wide area network so you must have to pay okay so that's why the mobile company they are charging you because they have get the license they have installed these base station they have the employees they have to operate it so they provide you connectivity so in, in that case you have to pay okay uh, another type of uh, uh, wireless network that is commonly used it is called terrestrial microwaves okay normally it is used for longer distance for example the telephone companies they have a antenna dish antenna and they connect different offices together okay so it is used for longer distance okay so normally you may have seen the parabolic dish that is mounted at high End and they are using directional antenna okay so their line of sight may be necessary so they transmit and receiver they should be at this uh, 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 they should be uh, at the same line line of sight to each other okay so if they are not at line of sight so they so they may they cannot work properly okay but the base station they are none line of sight okay you can be from anyone okay then this is they have a normally omnidirectional antenna omnidirectional antenna meaning that it can receive the signal from each and every direction and, and it can transmit the signal at each and every direction similarly the wi-fi it is the omnidirectional okay so there is no need for line of sight okay so you it can this wireless router can capture the signal from from any direction it is, it is from the top it is from bottom it is from the left it is from the right side okay so it is used both for voice and tv transmission as well as you have noticed it in the ptcl offices etc okay so it is used for this purpose okay next uh, type of wireless link that is commonly used in practice it is the satellite communication okay so satellite communication it is you it can support data up to 45 mbps per channel okay so there are multiple channels operated it has longer delay in 20 why it has delay up to 270 millisecond delay why because in the satellite communication one antenna is on two antennas are another we have to support the communication from one from this part of the earth to this part of the earth for example this is pakistan this is the canada so deploying the wire from pakistan to canada it will not be feasible but they can talk to each other through satellite so here we have a ground station in pakistan in the canada we have a ground station in the antenna and on the air in the earth, uh, uh, in the sky in the uh, in the air we have a satellite and it is moving maybe the satellite is stationary or it may move in this orbit okay so uh, from here from the pakistan if anyone user wants to connect with uh, users in the uh, canada so the the data move to 
to this ground station and from this ground station the data is transmitted to the satellite and then the satellite transmit that signal to the uh, gr ground station that is located in the Canada and from the, this ground station the data is moved to the destination in the Canada okay so this is normally used where the norm other medium cannot be used okay so we have also discussed that the satellite uh, a, a, a communication is also used in Canada for providing the internet connectivity in their rural areas so this is was the link if you remember it so the satellite access network it is used in the Canada okay but the satellite communication can also be used among the countries between countries okay where the wired or other medium other communication other technology cannot be used other technology are expensive to use or cannot be used or not feasible to use so in that case we can use satellite communication okay so the pakistan also have its own satellite launch and that is called park set park set one two three so they are launched uh, recently so okay so this is the satellite communication it's it's it is its own area of uh, working so okay so uh, what is the difference of satellite communication from other that one the satellite is moving in the air it is moving in the air and it provides connectivity between different parts of the earth okay and it is used where other technology cannot be used or other can be used but they are very expensive okay for example in the rural area of canada are for the communication between two countries that are part apart from each other okay so we have discussed uh, up to now we have discussed what is internet the network edge end system access network and links so in the next class we will try we will start the network code network core okay so by this uh, this class is uh, ended okay